for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. We're about two weeks away from training camp and the start of the next NFL season, and I know a lot of online CFMs might have already started picking teams from Madden 24. So if you don't know which teams to pick, I'm going to help you out by telling you which are the top six teams to avoid using in Madden 24, whether it's in regs or online CFM. Some of the things I'm looking for to make this list are things like a bad quarterback situation, no speed or weapons at wide receiver or on offense, or maybe just a really bad secondary that would get shredded against a good team. All these things will go over in the video, but before I do, this is just part one of a series that I'm going to do leading up to Madden 24, which includes things like best offenses, best defenses, best sleeper teams, and then eventually best teams to use right before Madden 24 drops. Woo! So if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section because I'm going to do a lot more. Now, the first team on this list is going to be the New England Patriots. And I don't have to go much further than the all section of the players because you can see that the highest rated player on this entire roster is only an 85. They don't have anybody rated higher than that. They only have a couple players rated over 80. If you go position by position, Mac Jones is decent. If you're still working in a CFM, an online CFM, you want to work up this guy because he is young. A couple of decent running backs, Stevenson and uh, James Robinson. Pretty good one-two punch, but neither one of them have speed once again. You go to receiver, and they have a couple of decent receivers. Uh, the best receiver, the only thing that really saves this roster for me is Tyquan Thornton and his 96 speed. Six foot two with 96 speed. Great player to work up. Then you get to the tight ends. They have two good tight ends. But when I see two good tight ends and not a lot of receivers, I think, what, are you going to run a dink and dunk offense all game? That's not really how I want to run my offense. You want explosive offensive plays, and this doesn't necessarily lead to that. Their offensive line is pretty good. They get three guys that are around 80 or higher. But after that, the defensive side really doesn't have a ton of talent aside from their edge rushers in Matthew Judon. And then when you get to the actual secondary, they're not looking too great either. Jonathan Jones is a good player. They drafted Christian Gonzalez, which will definitely help. He's their first-round pick. It will definitely help in an online CFM. Them. But after that, really don't have a lot of cornerbacks that are like really good and ready to go. Now, the next team is only one team down on the list, and that's the Raiders. So, you know, this team here beats out the Patriots because at least they have game-breaking players like Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, Max Crosby. But after that, their roster is pretty bare bones. Whenever you have Jimmy Garoppolo as your quarterback and you don't even have a young guy to work up to replace him, that's a problem. Then you get to running back. Like I said, Josh Jacobs one of the one of the best running backs in the game. They have plenty of weapons, especially when it comes to receiver with guys like Devontae Adams, who might be the best receiver in the game. But after that, they don't really have a lot of speed, which is kind of important. I mean, Renfro, very good route runner. He's going to find space on zig routes and stuff like that. He's going to get open, but at A6 speed, he's not going to get open on every route. You get to tight end, they don't really have a fast tight end there either. I would say the best one on this list is probably O.J. Howard, who's A6 speed. The offensive line is okay. Colt Miller is the best one. But when you get to the defensive side, they really don't have much outside of their edge rushers, which is Max Crosby, who's going to be, you know, a problem. And Channel Jones, who's getting up there in age and probably won't even be a superstar anymore. So you have decent edge rushers, but after that, your secondary is going to get pooped on once again. Like I said, put this team up against a team with really good receivers. You think Nate Hobbs is going to shut down anybody? No gun defense. Break trend here and continue going down one more spot on the list to the Rams, the next team who's very similar to the Raiders, although I think the Raiders might have a better roster because the the Rams, I mean, they completely depleted their resources to get that one Super Bowl that they got. Now they don't really have a ton of young players. They don't have a ton of draft picks. All this stuff's going to be a problem. If you look at the roster as a whole, it's just pretty barren in my opinion. Matt Stafford, still a very good quarterback. Running back is decent. It's in decent hands with guys like Cam Akers. You have at least one good running back with good speed. After that, you really have one good receiver once again in Cooper Cup, one of the best receivers in the game, but still just one good receiver. Van Jefferson's decent. Tutu Atwell's at least got speed at 94, so you can make a receiving core with that, but it's a huge drop-off. Then you get the tight end. Higby's probably your best second, your second best option to throw the ball to, and he's only an 80 speed, which is never great. The offensive line is a joke, as they really don't have anything. That's terrible. On the defensive side, this is where they're probably the worst, as they really only have Aaron Donald. I mean, now they traded Jalen Ramsey. Look at the overalls on some of these players. I mean, there's they're, you're barely cracking 70 with some of these starters. And then you get to the secondary, which looks like this might be the worst secondary in the game with, with whoever this guy is. Who? 
Now, next up, this team here might be one of the better teams to use when it comes to online CFM. But once again, they got the rookie quarterback, which is going to make it very difficult to play with them in regular games, online head-to-head, -head, and maybe your first year in CFM. But you definitely have the guy that you can work up, which is really cool in CJ Stroud. You got two decent running backs. Once again, speed's kind of an issue. I don't think Singletary's, because of his ASIC speed, I probably wouldn't use him at all. But Damian Pierce is a very good young player. Receivers, though, kind of a problem. Once again, nobody here. I mean, Robert Woods is your best guy. 89 speed. It doesn't really excite me. You don't really have too much of a tight end either. I mean, Dalton Schultz is a decent pickup from Dallas, but I mean, he's, still, he's your best receiver. That's, that's the worst part about it. He's an A2, 81 speed tight end, and he's your best receiver, which is not good. The offensive line is okay. I mean, at least you have like a star left tackle. When you get to the defensive side, you actually have a pretty decent core here of young players. Guys like Will Anderson, depending on his speed and his rating as the game star, should do a pretty good job of getting around the edge. Jerry Hughes is an older guy, but he actually had a really good season last year. He should be rated pretty decent, too. So you got some good edge defenders. And then in the secondary, you have some uh, some good young talent once again with guys like Derek Stingley Jr. Had a pretty good re uh, rookie year. Shaquille Griffin, who's got speed. Those two guys alone, you should be able to make a good cornerback tandem with. Next up, we got the Colts. And the Colts are in a position where they, once again, have some pretty, you know, marketable talent. Guys like Jonathan Taylor, DeForest Buckner, Shaq Leonard. These are all good players. Quentin Nelson but they really are spotty in other positions. I mean, you don't want to have a quarterback position like this going into a regs game because Anthony Richardson is probably going to be a lowly rated raw prospect. And for online CFM, once again, you should be good. That's You have your quarterback of the future, one of the best ones in the game probably. But in regs, you might have to use a guy like Gardner Minshew just to get some decent throwing accuracies. Then you get to the running back situation. Like I said, one of the best in the game in Jonathan Taylor. He's got it all. You get to the receiver position, though, and you're going to be riding the struggle bus once again because your best receiver is Michael Pittman. Pittman Jr. is just, you know, a possession guy. He's not fast. You got a couple of decent options to grow in CFM after that, and Josh Downs and Alec Pierce who had a decent rookie year. Uh, but, you know, overall, their line's decent. So, I mean, especially with, uh, I'm sure their, their superstar, Quinn Nelson, would probably blow people up with the new ability for linemen to do that. Getting to the defensive side, they have a couple of decent defenders, but it's really all about Buckner up the middle, who's going to be your best rusher, and Shaq Leonard, who, to me, having a linebacker as your best player, especially when that's not very fast, isn't necessarily huge when it comes to defense. And then the biggest issue, once again, is when you get to the secondary. If you don't have anybody above 80 and your best guy's only 5'9 and Kenny Moore. And then last but not least, my pick for the worst team in Madden 24 and maybe the worst team in real life. I mean, this is a team that might be tanking when it's all said and done. And that's the Arizona Cardinals, who their best player is an 89 overall in Buda Baker. Probably won't even be on the roster at the start of the season. So once there's an update to the rosters, he'll probably be gone. That'll probably make 84 overall Kyler Murray their best player. And you can see already, I mean, there's only a couple guys rated right above 80. I mean, we're looking at the top, what, six or seven players, and we're seeing 79 overall players already. So Kyler Murray, still a very good quarterback to play with. I mean, I know he's falling off a little bit in real life. But, I mean, he's a 92-speed guy. He can run all over the place. He's very annoying to play against. Still a very good quarterback to have, in my opinion, and young if you're in a CFM. Then you get the running back, James Conner, okay. He's not very fast, but he's a decent running back, good power guy. You get to the receiving core, they're still pretty good there, too, because you have Hollywood Brown, who's a 97-speed. That's elite, rare speed, so you still have that. And Rondo Moore's a 93-speed. So you got two receivers that are fast enough for one-play touchdowns and stuff like that. And tight end Zach Ertz is getting older, but still a very good tight end. They also drafted Trey McBride last year, so. The weaponry is decent, but after that, I mean, they really don't have a lot. Their their offensive line is very average. They did just draft a tackle. You go to the defensive side, though, and it's really bad. I mean, you see a lot of 60 overall guys. They don't really have any cornerbacks worth mentioning at all. You get to the safety spot, and this is really where they, you know, become their best with guys like Isaiah Simmons, who probably shouldn't be playing at safety. He's a 92-speed, 6'4 guy, former high first-round pick. He should, probably should be playing, like, outside linebacker or something to even have value. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm going to have videos popping up about some other topics I made about the upcoming Madden 24 game. So if you guys want to see more about the gameplay changes and stuff like that, just click the links on the screen, as I'm sure it will be uh, of use as the game's only a couple weeks away. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.